With due permission of your lordships, a farewell address to Honorable Mr. Justice Sankup Chung Sarto will be held on the occasion of laying down of, of his lordship's office. For order of reference, may I call upon Mr. Diganto Das, Advocate General, Mizoram. <coughs> To the Honorable Chief Justice, other company and justices of this Honorable Court, members of registry, senior advocates, members of the bars, member of Justice Sarto, and ladies and gentlemen. Yesterday, I was invited in the farewell dinner, dinner and your Lord Chief has given a speech yesterday. And your Lord Chief has said that yesterday that from tomorrow onward, it was my last day of wearing the gown. I'm telling your Lordship, your Lordship will never retire. Justice doesn't retire. Your Lordship will be loaded with more works. Your, your Lordship will be assigned different works, inquiry of commissioner, inquiry of commission, arbitration matter. Your Lordship will be more busy than what your Lordship is today. I am sure your Lordship will get a good assignment even after retirement. <clears throat> My first encounter with your Lordship was in the corridors of the Kohima bench. I remember, I think your Lordship will remember. I was in Nagaland uh, for some matters and I met your Lordship in the corridor. I couldn't recollect your Lordship because I, I used to do a number of cases in Manipur High Court. One of my closest friends was that Koteshwar Singh was a Lawyer, he became the addition, the advocate general of Manipur High Court. Thereafter, he was elevated. But when he was a lawyer, I used to visit him. So I never. Then I inquired through some of my friends, senior friends in uh, in Manipur, and inquired about your lordship. Then I came to know that your lordship is nearly co contemporary with me. I joined '85. If I am not your lordship, joined in '86. Thereafter, I came to know that your lordship has served. As a lawyer for a period of six years, your lordship is served. Thereafter, uh, your lordship, yesterday also, your lordship said that uh, you were sleeping. Thereafter, your wife woke up that there is a Mizoram for Mizoram service, judicial service. Then you attend the exam and ultimately you passed out. And you uh, serve in different districts of Manipur. Except uh, two districts, I think you have not served. Chandel and Bistupur, you've been served. <clears throat> and in 2013, my lord became the first Registrar General of Manipur High Court upon his creation. And thereafter, your lordship was elevated 
as an additional judge of Manipur High Court in 2016. And thereafter, when Manipur High Court was created, and thereafter, we came to know that your lordship has been transferred to this Guwahati High Court on 3rd of October 2016. And your lordship presided over a lot of outlying benches I, in Kohima, in Arunachal Pradesh. So a number of matters I appeared, outlying benches, more than the principal seat. I remember a few months back, your lordship was stationed in Isle bench of this Honorable High Court. And during the farewell dinner of his lordship, Honorable Justice Kuteshwar Singh, now he is the Chief Justice of the High Court of Jammu and Kashmir Ladakh. In a very lighter note, your lordship told me that I'll, I was about to summon you because you are not stationed in Nigel. That what in a very lighter note, your lordship has said to me, that Mr. Das, I have not seen in Nigel Benz. What has happened? I would have summoned you. <clears throat> in several matters, my lord, your lordship has done a lot of big matters and I appeared number of judgments your lordship has passed. I remember one of the matter in contractual matters, your lordship sitting singly and that was put to challenge and I have read the judgment contractual matter. matter. It was a very nicely written judgment. Your lordship has cited number of judgments of the apex court and it was put to challenge before a division bench my lord. Ultimately, it was your judgment was uphold. <clears throat> my Lord, I will have to tell your Lordship is a thorough gentleman and I have never seen you to lose your coolness and presiding and you preside over, over the hearings very coolly, very calmly your Lordship is to preside. I got information about your Lordship's father who is no more. Sinkampun Sarto was the chief of Sangang village, Churadukun district, Manipur, and he was a member of Autonomous District Council for two terms. <clears throat> that is for a period of 10 years. I think your Lordship has indeed followed your Lordship's footstep and devoted his career also to public service. I, on, on behalf of myself and state of Mizoram and his people wish your lordship a very happy and healthy life ahead and also my best wishes to your lordship for all future endeavors. Mr. Chinmoy Chaudhuri, Chairman of Bar Council of Assam, Nagaland, Mizoram, Arunachal Pradesh and Sikkim. My lord, the Honorable Chief Justice of our court. Honorable judges of our Kwati High Court, respected members of the registry, my esteemed colleagues in the bar, Lordship Sarto is laying down the office after long innings, almost covering about 35 years. So, Lordship took LLB degree and started practice, and from Lordship, we came to know that Lordship to practice only for six years. But during that period, because he pasted the practice life both in district judiciary as well as in the High Court and was satisfied. So then Lord decided to join the Manipur Judicial Service and accordingly got selected and joined. And through uh, labor and since your devotion to work, Lordship rose to the post of register and Lordship became the first register of the Manipur High Court. Then Lordship was elevated as additional just in the High Court and therefrom Lordship was transferred to the Guwahati High Court where Lordship was then became judge of the Guwahati High Court in 2018 and Lordship proved through his work that Lordship is a silent warrior because from Lordship we came to know that while in Manipur the condition of the courtrooms 
as well as the residential accommodations for the judicial officials were in a very dilapidated condition and thus if to extra care calling the executive and putting pressure upon them to get all the things done in favor of the judiciary so that the judiciary look at part at least with the executive otherwise executive being in helm of affairs they look after their own interest only so that is a uh, very I think Lordship personally took up and Lordship got it done. And Lordship, we found that whenever Lordship was there um, administering justice and the court, Lordship always remained very calm and through that calm and composed demeanor, Lordship owned the heart of all the bar members and established Lordship as a good judge and Lordship today Lordship is bidding farewell we are bidding farewell to a Lordship but it is a farewell only officially and I hope Lordship will also remain in touch with us and from our end I assure Lordship that there shall always be endeavor to reach to your Lordship for every purpose and at times I hope we shall <coughs> invite your Lordship to some conferences or other such meetings so Lordship will kindly come and join us and Lordship will help us with valuable advice, suggestions, etc. I, on behalf of the World Council of the Northeast and on my own behalf, wish Lordship a good, healthy, and long life and a good family life and also wish that all members of Lordship family maintain good health. Mr. Dilip Chaudhuri, President Guwahati High Court Bar Association. Honorable Chief Justice of the Guwahati High Court, Honorable Justice Sanku Sung Sarto and Honorable Judges of the Guwahati High Court, members of the Judiciary Registry, Honorable Seniors present here, and Honorable Members of the High Court. And I have seen so many family members here present of Honorable Justice Sarto. This is a day that uh, we are bidding farewell to our Honorable Justice Sarto. For everybody, a day comes for joining an institution and a day comes for going out of the institution. Since it being a way of life for each of such personality, we, though from our mind cannot accept it, but it is the reality that we gather here for bidding farewell to Honorable Justice Sartu. But memories of certain personalities always remain with us in our mind. Today is the day we have gathered here for bidding farewell to Honorable Justice Sartu, as this is the day for him to leave us and this institution, this due to his retirement. Honorable Justice Sarto was born on 1st of March 1961 at village Sagang of Sursanpur, district of Bonipur. He prosecuted his higher studies at Silong and he completed his graduation from St. Anthony's College. Thereafter, he joined in LLB courses in the Faculty of Law in Delhi University and completed his LLB degree in 1986. He got enrollment as advocate under the Bar Council of Assam, Nagaland, etc. in 1986. He started his practice as an advocate, and after about six years of practice, he joined as Great Three Judicial Officer of Manipur Judicial Service on 16-5-1992. Thereafter, he got promotion to the Great Two of Manipur Judicial Service on 29-9-97. Honorable Justice Mr. Sarto, 
extended his valuable service in the judiciary by serving almost all the districts of Manipur except Sandel and Bishnupur. He was deputed as deputy registrar judicial of Guwahati High Court in Paul, when on 29-9-2011, he was promoted to the post of grade one of Manipur judicial service and appointed as registrar at Impol Bench of Guwahati High Court on 19-3-2012. After bifurcation of Manipur High Court from the Guwahati High Court and creation of Manipur High Court on 25-3-2013, Honorable Justice Sarto was appointed as the Registrar General of the Manipur High Court on 25-7-2013. He was elevated as additional judge of the Manipur High Court on 14th March 2016. Thereafter, he was transferred to the Guwahati High Court as additional judge and took oath as additional judge of the Guwahati High Court on 3rd of October 2016. He became a permanent judge of the Guwahati High Court on 12 3 2018. Honorable Justice Sarto is with an excellent personality to deal with the cases nicely and his conduct as a judge of the High Court with will always keep in mind. His behavior to the advocates of the Guwahati High Court was very nice and his gentle behavior could make happy all of our colleagues. Sometime after losing a case, an advocate gets some sort of pain, but such pain, if can be borne in mind with certain pleasure of good behavior of a judge, the advocate becomes satisfied. And this could be possible in the Court of, Just court of Honorable Justice Sarto. At last, with my few words, I say that we have our high regards to this His Lordship's personality, and I, on behalf of the members of the High Court Bar Association, and for my own behalf, which for his good health. Mr. Santom Khound, General Secretary, Guwahati High Court Advocates Association. Honorable Chief Justice, Justice Honorable Mr. Justice Sankup Chung Sarto, Honorable Judge, Judges present, Madam Sarto and family members present here, respected members of the registry, esteemed members of the bar and ladies and gentlemen present. We assemble here today to bid farewell to Mr. Justice Sankup Chung Sarto, who is laying down office today. On his attaining the age of superannuation, Honorable Justice Sarto was born on 1st of March 1961 in the Churachanpur district in Manipur. Having graduated from St. Anthony's College in Silong, Meghalaya, he studied in the law faculty of the University of Delhi and obtained an LLB degree from there. He joined the bar in 1986 and practiced for about six years. He joined Manipur Judicial Service Grade 3 in 1992 and eventually promoted to the post of Register of Impel Bands in March 2012. In July 2013, he was appointed to the most responsible post of Register General of Manipur High Court. In consideration of his sincerity and expertness in handling administrative matters in the Manipur registry, as well as in the legal profession, as the Advocate General, he was elevated to the bench as the additional judge of Manipur High Court in March 2016. It was our privilege to have his service as the judge of the Guwahati High Court since 3rd October 2016 onwards. During his Lordship's tenure as judge of the Guwahati High Court, besides executing on many litigations of complex nature, he landed his associations in many meetings and celebrations like the celebrations of Constitution Day by the High Court, etc. This day, your Lordship, Mr. Justice, Sarto might have some mixed feelings going around in your mind. Your Lordship may feel a bit dejected in going away from a busy life of judicial discourses from today onwards. But a man of work and dutifulness will automatically find out the place of his interest and get busy in any way. Your Lordship's retired life may be more interesting and a loved one. I, on behalf of Guwahati High Court Advocates Association, convey my best wishes to his Lordship and family members a very happy and long life. Mr. Biswajit Goswami, Additional Advocate General, Assam. Honorable Chief Justice. Honorable judges of this honorable court, uh, my esteemed colleagues, members of the registry, ladies and gentlemen. We have assembled here to bid farewell to Honorable Justice 
Sang Sarto on successful completion of his service life, who took charge as additional judge of the Guwahati High Court on 3rd October 2016 and then appointed as judge on uh, 12 3 2018. Born on uh, 1st March 1961 at Sajang village of Surachangpur district of Manipur, Mr. Sarto graduated from St. Anthony College, Silong and obtained LLB degree from Law Faculty, Delhi University. He got enrolled as an advocate in, uh, in uh, 22, 1986 and joined Manipur Judicial Service Grade 3 on 16, 5, 1992. After practicing law for more than six years at bar, he was also promoted to the Manipur uh, Judicial Service Grade 2 on 10, 12, 1997. Later, he was deputed to involve events of the Guwahati High Court at Deputy Register Judicial on 29-9-2011 and appointed as Register of Same Bands on 19-3-2012 after promotion to uh, uh, Manipur Judicial Service Grade 1. When the Manipur High Court came into existence, he, uh, he was appointed as First Register General on 25th uh, July, uh, July 2013, elevated as additional judge of this uh, Honorable High Court of Manipur on 14th March 2016. He was then transferred to Guwahati High Court and took oath as additional judge on 3rd October 2016 and then judge of this Honorable Court on 12 3 2018. Honorable Justice Sarto was a brilliant and hardworking judge who always gives patience hearing to all in and is very judicious. Mr. Justice Sarto will always be remembered for his simplicity and judicious mind. I, on behalf of this state of Assam, and on my personal behalf, wish him a healthy and prosperous life ahead. Namaskar. Mr. N.N.B. Choudhury, Additional Advo Advocate General, Arunachal Pradesh. Honorable Chief Justice, judges of this honorable court, member of the registry, and my esteemed senior colleague and other member of the bar. Today we have assembled here to bid farewell to Honorable Mr. Justice S. Sarto, who has served as a justice of the Secretary Institution for more than six years. This proceeding are mean share, honor, some thought on meaningful judicial theories. Appreciate Judice Justice Sarto career, share word of goodwill, best wishes, and express gratitude to his lordship on him, the behalf of the member of the bar who desired to say something on the steadiness, humility, integrity, hardworking, fairness, uprightness of his lordship. My Lord Justice Sarto, born on 1st March 1961 at Sengang village, Surasandrapur district, Manipur, who had set many milestones in the different field of human endeavor. The father of our nation, Mahatma Gandhi, could appropriately described in the following terms, quote, the best way to find yourself to is to lose yourself in the service of others, unquote. In course of my Lord just judicial career, so far Justice Sarto has delivered several landmark judgments and decisions in many areas of our substantive and procedural law. Though his industry presents his sound knowledge of law and fairness in conduct of cases. The trust that people repose in our judicial system has been greatly enhanced. Every lawyer who has appeared before my Lord Sarto always felt at home and never felt uneasy. It is due to his hardworking diligence, adhering to the professional ethics and the ability to work in a team that had gained the trust of the members of the bar to feel him as one of their own. As a member of the bar, I believe I speak for all the members of the bar when I say that Sarto, Justice Sarto is a great thinker capable of understanding the finer point of law. While summing up, I refer to quote the great philosopher Confucius, quote, the superior man is the modest in his speech but exit in his actions. Unquote. As this is squarely applicable to our 
Honorable Justice Sato. Today, as we bid him farewell from this Honorable High Court, please accept our best wishes and we pray our almighty good to come in longevity, good health, happiness, and active and fulfilling next chapter. I, on my personal behalf, and behalf of the state of Orunachal Pradesh, wishes all the best to Honorable Justice Satu. May Almighty God continue to bless him for the rest of life. Ms. T. Crow, Additional Advocate General, Nagaland. My Lord, the Honorable Chief Justice, my, no my Lord, Honorable Justice S. Serto, and his lady wife and his family members here today, the other companion honorable judges of this honorable court, member of the registry, learned senior advocates, and my dear esteemed colleagues. We are here today to bid farewell to honorable justice uh, Song Kuk Chong Soto on his laying down of the office from this esteemed institution on attaining superannuation. Parting is always emotional and much more so when it is someone who has made a niche in this esteemed institution of legal fraternity. Justice Asserto was born in the year 1961 at Sangang Village, Manipur, graduated from St. Stephen College, Shillong, obtained his LLB degree from Faculty of Law at Delhi University. He got enrolled as an advocate in 1986. After practicing for six years, he joined Manipur Judicial Service as grade three in the year 1992. Thereafter, he was promoted uh, to grade two of Manipur Judicial Service in 1919. He was deputed as a deputy registrar of Guwahati High Court in Park Bench in 2011 and appointed as registrar in the year 2012. He was also the first appointed uh, registrar general, registrar general of the High Court of Manipur in 2013 after the inception of High Court of Manipur. He was elevated as additional judge of High Court Manipur in on 14-3-2016 and transferred to Guwahati High Court as additional judge on 3-10-2016 and appointed as judge of Guwahati High Court on 12-3-2018. We will be missing his physical presence in this esteemed institution from tomorrow, yet he will still be a beaming inspiration to us all. My Lord, Justice S. Serto, stationed at Kohima Bench, Guwahati High Court. I'm told as I interact with my friends and colleagues who are practicing in Kohima Bench, has high regards from the bar for his patient and compassionate hearings. Your Lordship is humble and rich in imparting justice. Your Lordship court is always pleasant and comfortable because your Lordship is a good human being. Nagaland will be grateful for your interference in BIL cases, and in doing so, the Nagaland High Court construction, wherein 95% of it is completed. The other development in judiciary infrastructure in the district as well. The National Highway 27, because of your interference, the Nagaland Staff Selection Board has come into existence for the grade three and the four. The medical college, which is a dream of our people in the state, is in shape. Your Lordship is an exceptional person in crisis as your Lordship had taken up initiation during the worst heat of COVID time for installation of necessary infrastructure and vaccination too. Amongst all the progress and accomplishment through your Lordship's initiation, to go a long way, joining with my predecessor, I on my personal behalf, and on behalf of the government of Nagaland, and the people of Nagaland extend our sincere congratulation on reaching this amazing milestone and wishes you a happy, healthy, and blessed retirement. I thank you. Mr. Ranjit Kumar Dev Chaudhuri, Deputy Solicitor General of India. Honorable the Chief Justice, Guwahati High Court. Honorable Justice S. Sarto, my respects to the family members of Justice Sarto, Honorable Justice, Justice present here today, members of the registry, 
London senior advocates and my colleagues on the bar. We assemble here today to be adieu to Honorable Justice Sarto on his attaining the age of super innovation. Let me start by saying everybody does not become a judge is someone who is over and above the ordinary is destined to be a judge. And while discharging the duties as a judge, there are certain particular traits that needs to be borne in mind. Of course, the judge has to be a very knowledgeable person knowledge in the laws and most importantly is having a level head when in a courtroom arguments are placed tempers fly under those circumstances it is very difficult to have a very level head apart from having a level head there is a duty towards the society as well. Because every sentence in a judgment that your lordship dictates, that has an effect upon the society. And all the good traits of a judge are reflected in Honorable Justice Sarto. I've had the occasion to appear in his court and I was indeed very happy the way that he has conducted the proceedings. In fact, on certain occasions I have even said, it is not only taking oaths that makes a judge, it is how the judge conducts himself thereafter. That makes him a true judge. In your lordship's effort as a judge, as an administrative judge, Lordship has taken various steps, rightfully stated yesterday by Honorable Justice Jamir. Lordship can be referred as an infrastructure judge. Lordship has taken up so many measures to build up the infrastructure of the lower judiciary as well as the high court in Nagaland. Now, what better time to read one's success? It is which I believe on the eve of your superannuation, I would say everyone's superannuation, that one would look back and see that yes, I have left an example for others to follow. That is what is success. And today, I can very proudly say that we do remember, we will remember whatever your lordship has left behind. Those would be examples for others to follow. On the eve of your retirement, I would be very happy to see your lordship as it has fallen from your lordship last night. Lordship will go for his long drives. His long drives, extensive drives toward the northeast. Lordship will enjoy his post-retirement life and lordship will not sit idle. I, on behalf of the Union of India, and on behalf of my personal self, wish your lordship all the very best. Thank you. Mr. H. K. Das, Standing Counsel, Guwahati High Court. Honorable the Chief Justice, Honorable Judges of the Guwahati High Court, members of the registry, my seniors in the bar, my esteemed colleague, brothers and sisters and other present here in today. At the very beginning, I would like to take the pleasure to welcome the members of His Lordship's family to this afternoon's sitting, that is Madam Sato and the other family members and invited guests. This August gathering today is intended to bid farewell to Honorable Justice Sato, who has served as a judge of this sacred institution 
for more than six, six long years, still laying down his office. To begin with, anybody having a minuscule interaction with my Lord Justice Serto is definitely going to get inspired from his Lordship's simplicity. Applying the philosophy of simple living and high thinking in his entire life, my Lord has come to the eve of a new beginning. Although this parting weighs in painful, however such pain is bearable in front of the sacrifice of the family members who let my Lord to devote time to work for the good of the society. As a judge of this court, my Lord has delivered many decisions of high presidential value, including verdicts of complex issues of constitutional law, important civil litigations, rights of accused under the various criminal laws. Besides it, my Lord has also been a party to numerous orders and judgments that have furthered the cause of justice in this part of the country. All through his career, judicial career, my Lord has upheld the rule of law while also being conscious of the need of the underprivileged and vulnerable groups of the society. It is indeed difficult to spell out the plethora of judgments which bear testimony to your Lordship's judicial qualities. Lastly, the contribution of my Lord in bolstering the judicial infrastructure will always be remembered. We will always remember the encouraging words of my Lord toward the junior members of the bar. Your Lordship is more of a friend and guide to the youngsters. The everlasting smile we confronted with while arguing cases before your Lordship will always remain in our heart. Today, when your Lordship is heading towards a new beginning, I, on behalf of the Guwahati High Court and its registry, would like to convey our gratitude for my Lord Sri Justice Serto's service to this court. We will always fondly remember your Lordship's contribution to the rule of law and to this High Court. We wish a very best in your Lordship's future pursuit and pray for a long, happy and fulfilling life. Now, may we have the honor of reference by Honorable the Chief Justice. My esteemed sister and brother judges on the bench, Brother Justice Songup Chan Serto, Madam Mrs. Fanai and family members, Mr. Diganta Das, Advocate General Mizoram, Mr. Chinmoy Chaudhary, Chairman, Advocate General Anunachal Pradesh and Chairman, Northeast Bar Council. Mr. Dilip Chaudhary, President, Gauti High Court Bar Association. Mr. Prabhanga Chandra Kalita, Assistant General Secretary, Gauti High Court Advocates Association. Mr. Dilip Mazumdar, Additional Advocate General Assam. Mr. T.J. Mahanta, Standing Council, Gauti High Court. Mr. B.D. Goswami, Additional Advocate General Arunachal Pradesh, Mr. T. M. S. T. Karo, Additional Advocate General Nagaland, Mr. Ranjit Kumar Dev Chaudhary, Deputy Self General of India, Learned Senior Advocates, Members of the Bar, Members of the Registry, Distinguished Ladies and Gentlemen. We have assembled here to bid farewell to Brother Justice Sarto, who is going to lay down office today on attaining super innovation. Parting of association in life of everyone, whether it is of short duration or long, is always painful regardless of the cause behind the parting. It makes us emotional, but it is indeed inevitable in everyone's life. Today's parting leaves the same feeling in our mind and heart for Brother Justice Sarto, because from tomorrow, we will be missing Justice Sarto's association of almost 37 years with the judicial fraternity. As I have joined very recently, I cannot possibly claim any personal proximity of long duration with Brother Justice Sarto. However, even a duration of few days is long enough to assess and appraise an individual of exceptional qualities which Justice Sarto possesses. 
In this short period of time, I have received significant glimpses of his brilliant oratorial skills and exemplary, exemplary writing aptitude. Justice Sarto, I am told, always has a, had a striking impact on the members of the bar, especially in the Kohima bench, as well upon his brother and sister judges on the bench because of his in-depth knowledge of law and loving attitude to one and all. His judgments are highly appreciated by the members of the bar as well as by the litigant, litigant public for clarity of thoughts. Born on 1st of March 1961 at Sagang village, Chura Chandrapur, district Manipur, Justice Sarto completed graduation from St. Anthony's College, Shillong and obtained an LLB degree from the law faculty, Delhi University. After enrolling him himself as an advocate in the year 1986, Justice Sarto joined the Manipur Judicial Service Grade 3 on 16th May 1992 after practicing for more than six years at the bar. Justice Sarto was promoted to Grade 2 of Manipur Judicial Service on 10th December 1997 <clears throat> and had the occasion to serve in all the districts of Manipur except Chandel and Bishnupur districts in various capacities. Later on, Justice Sarto was deputed to Imphal bench of the Gauti High Court as Deputy Registrar on 29th September 2011. He was then appointed as Registrar of the same bench on 19th March 2012 after promotion to MJS Grade 1. Justice Sarto was appointed as the first Registrar General of the High Court of Manipur on 25th July 2013 after the High Court of Manipur came into existence. He was elevated as an additional judge of Manipur High Court on 14th March 2016 and was thereafter transferred to Guwahati High Court and took oath as an additional judge Guwahati High Court on 3rd October 2016. <clears throat> he was made a permanent judge of the Guwahati High Court on 12th March 2018. Justice Sarto also served as executive chairman of the Nagaland State Legal Services Authority for a considerable period of time and was involved with numerous activities by providing all kind of help to poor, needy and downtrodden and rendered valuable services to the society. Justice Sarto took keen interest in development of robust infrastructure for the district judiciary at Manipur during his tenure as the Registrar General and was able to secure central funds for construction of various district court complexes in the state of Manipur. During his tenure, seven district judge courts, three family courts, one court of JMFC at More, which is near Burma, and the Judicial Academy were established at Manipur. One can rarely find an individual who has had such a great impact. Justice Sarto was deeply involved with the ongoing construction of the new High Court building at Koima and personally monitored the same with same extreme dedication and sincerity. Justice Sarto took up a suo moto PIL in respect of the construction of the highway from Koima to Dimapur. He always has his best interests and his best efforts for the betterment of the institution that is our judiciary. The High Court and the judiciary would be missing the services of one of Nagaland. While I was talking to my colleagues, I was told about the remark remarkable achievements of this Sarto, both on the judicial side as well as on the administrative side. Justice Sarto is known for his great contribution to the development of judicial infrastructure in the states of Manipur and Nagaland. I was indeed surprised as to how he could achieve this remarkable feat while performing duties as the Registrar General of the Manipur High Court <clears throat> and then a judge first of the Manipur High Court and then of this court. I got the enlightenment when Justice Sarto visited my chamber yesterday to share his past experiences. It is then I realized that Justice Sarto was gifted these remarkable qualities by his father, late Singh Singuplin, who was a visionary man. I was told that despite being highly qualified, he gave up the opportunity of being at high positions in the mainstream and instead chose to stay back in his village at Manipur, where he made great contribution towards the establishment of educational and medical institutions in an otherwise neglected area. He was chosen to head the Council of Elders by the villagers of no less than 19 villages to act as the judge, arbitrator, and mediator to resolve their interstate disputes. It goes without saying 
that having been universally chosen as the most respected elder of the area, his decisions were full of wisdom, equity, and were accepted without a demur. This remarkable process of settling people's disputes by mediation gives us a deep insight into the strength of the alternative dispute resolution system, which has been a hallmark of India's heritage since centuries. Apparently thus, Justice Sarto has acquired these remarkable qualities genetically from his father. I am told that after passing away of Honorable Justice Sarto's father, his brother M.E. Sarto has been chosen to lead the Council of Elders for deciding the disputes that arise inter se between the villagers. Justice Sarto has given his opinion on a variety of branches of law during his tenure as a judge of this court. I may here mention only a few of his important judgments. The first is the opinion given by him in the case of <clears throat> Imtre Nila Jameer versus State of Nagaland, where the service of the petitioner was terminated on the ground that there was a break in service as the petitioner who resigned from her earlier post of UDA to join her new post as extra assistant commissioner and hence her earlier service cannot be reckoned for the purpose of pension. It was held that the gap of seven days of termination and release order of the petitioner <clears throat> and joining in another service is only a technical or artificial break, which in actuality does not create a break or gap between two services and hence will not make the pensionable. <clears throat> Secondly, in the case of Moga Chankai versus State of Nagaland, Justice Sarto awarded exemplary compensation of rupees 25 lakhs to the petitioners whose mother died on her way to the district hospital as the sub-center at the Monyak Shu village where the petitioner's mother, mother was a resident was never equipped properly where such institutional deliveries could not be conducted, leaving no choice for the villagers to go to the other health centers available in the district for the delivery of the child. It was held that right to healthy life is inherent in Article 21 of the Constitution of India. Therefore, health and medical care comes within the sweep of Article 21 of the Constitution of India. The right to healthy life refers to and means the most attainable level of health that every human being is entitled to. The implication from the above is that enforcing the right to life is a duty of the state and this duty covers providing right to primary health center. <clears throat> in another case of Srimati Chongkoi versus State of Nagaland, Honorable Justice Sarto went ahead to issue a direction to grant all pensionary benefits to the petitioner even after a gap of nine long years by condoning the delay. <clears throat> the petitioner's son was working as an LDA in the Public Health Engineering Department. He died in harness. The court held that it would not only be unfair but unreasonable and unjust to accept an unilliterate trusty a poor widow living in one of the remotest village in the Chuseng district of Nagaland to be aware of such legal rights <clears throat> to approach the court within time. Justice Sarto fully deserves the effusive praise showered by the learned representatives of the bar. Indeed, the Gauti High Court will be deprived of the valuable services of such a seasoned and a mature judge. I am sure that my colleagues on the bench would agree that we are all going to miss Brother Justice Sarto a lot in the weeks and months ahead. To sum up the life and achievements of Justice Sarto, I would like to refer to the following extract from the series of poems, Marula Munya, written by the Kannad poet D.V. Gundappa. I quote, Honey, camphor and saffron, dissolved in milk can't be seen, but the sweetness and fragrance can be enjoyed. Similarly, the selfness, selflessness of a wise sage gets dissolved and his selflessness only shines. He gives help and happiness to the world." Unquote. In any case, we shall continue to seek Brother Sarto's sagacious advice in future for the betterment of the institution to which we all belong. I, on my own behalf and on behalf of my esteemed colleagues on the bench and the rest of the High Court, wish Brother Justice Sarto and Mrs. Justice Fanai good health, peace of mind and a very long, fulfilling life. Thank you. May we now have the honor of a reply by Honorable Mr. Justice Sankup Chung Sarto. Honorable Chief Justice, and my esteemed brothers and sisters, 
Mr. Siganta Das, Advocate General of Mizoram. <coughs> Mr. Sinmay Saudhuri, Chairman of Bar Council of Assam, Nagaland, Mizoram, Arunachal Pradesh, and Sikkim. Mr. Dilip Saudhuri, President, Guwahati High Court Bar Association. Mr. Santom Khan, General Secretary, Guwahati High Court Advocates Association. Mr. Biswajit Goswami, Additional Advocate General Assam. Mr. NNB Saudhuri, Additional Advocate General Arunachal Pradesh. Ms. T. Crow, Additional Advocate General Nagaland. Mr. Ranjit Kumar Dev Saudhuri, Deputy Solicitor General of India. Mr. H. K. Das, Standing Counsel, Guwahati High Court, Guwahati. Officers and staff of the registry of the Guwahati High Court, both at the principal seat and all the other benches. Learned senior engineer members of the bar at the principal seat and all the other benches. Learned government advocates and prosecutors at the principal seat and other benches. Learned deputy solicitor generals of <laughs> India and the learned CGCs at the other benches of this court. My dear brother, Justice Nobind, former judge of Manipur High Court. My dear friend, Mr. Lakshmidar Pangari, senior advocate, who has come all the way from Orisha to be with us today. My dear wife, Lalfa Kui, and my children. My brothers and sister and sister-in-law who are present here, ladies and gentlemen. Words would fail me to reciprocate all the blessings that I have been showered with through those kind words. I have nothing much to say except to say thank you so much. Yes, it has been 38 years since I joined the judicial family. First as a lawyer, then a judge of district court, and then as a judge of high court. The blessings I have received from God, the Almighty, are beyond measure, and they are too much for a person who took up law reluctantly. As we all believe, life's journey is guided by destiny, and destiny is determined by none other than the Creator Himself. Therefore, at the very outset, I thank the Almighty God as I end this journey as a judge. I also want to thank my parents who are no more with us today, but I believe are watching as I speak for all the love and labor they have showered and invested on me. They did not spare or withhold anything that takes to make me what I am. I also want to thank my wife, who has been a constant help and support. Instead of all, in spite of all the difficulties she had undergone, due to reason beyond our control. Not the least, I also want to thank my brothers and only sister, including my children, without whose sacrifice and support, my journey and achievements would not have been possible. A career in judiciary cannot be started with a degree alone. We need a senior or a guru to start with. For me, it was one late S. Jenta Singh from Manipur, who himself was not a very senior lawyer when I joined him, but it was he who initiated and groomed me into the profession. His practice was mostly confined to high court, so I was led to practice in the high court from the very beginning of my career. I owe so much to him for what one may say I have achieved. As I continued, I had the privilege of working with senior advocates, judges, and staffs of different courts in Manipur, including the High Court of Manipur, whose contributions in my career, both as an advocate and a judge, I can never forget. I can only wish that they will be repaid by the Almighty God with his endless blessings. I came to Guwahati High Court on transfer 
after working for six months as additional reserves of money for high court. The registry officers were no strangers to me since I had worked with them as registrar of Infar Bench of Guwahati High Court. However, the judges, except Honorable Justice Rizikas Roy, learned members of the bar, as well as some of the matters they were listed on my board were new to me. But the love and encouragement of my senior brothers on the bench and the ever assistance I received from the learned members of the bar soon helped me to feel a part of the high court and also made my work easier. All the judgments and orders I have authored and delivered would not have been possible without the able assistance of the learned members of the bar. So I do owe you a great deal, my dear friends. I remember one day during the lunch time, my brother Justice Monojit Bhujan, who has retired since, taking the trouble of ringing me on phone and telling me that he and the then Chief Justice has just heard an appeal against my judgment and it has been up here. He also added and said, I had to ring you a brother to tell you just that. It was an encouragement which came when it was most needed. I also received a letter from the then Chief Justice Sri Ajit Singh, who encouraged me by saying, you have done wonderfully well, please continue the good work. These words were priceless to me since they added so much of energy and confidence in me. I would be failing in my duty if I do not mention the sweet and memorable times I had with my brother, Justice L.S. Zamir, and my brother, Justice Kesema. My stay and my work at Kohima were enjoyable and memorable because of that. Indeed, we shared many dreams and plans for judiciary in Naglin, some, some of which have turned into reality, while some are about to follow suit. Besides the judiciary, we have also contributed in the establishment of some vital institutions and construction or development of certain most needed infrastructures. It was exhilarating and fulfilling at the same time to see things falling into place with little initiative and persuasion from our part. In life, it happens sometimes that one is the sower and the other is the reaper or the harvester. I hope the little that my brothers and I sowed or initiated, the people one day will reap the fruit. Those memories will remain as priceless treasures in my heart as long as I live. I also had a short time with my brother Justice Suman Siam since he was also at Kohima Benz when I first came to Nagle, my brother's phone calls, which came sometimes, were, on, were an encouragement too. While remembering about Nagle, I cannot forget my brother Justice Manish Saudhuri. When the construction of the four land road between Kohima and Dimapu fell to progress and caused a lot of hardship to the travelers, my brother and I decided to take up the matter so much. Thereafter, the work has progressed, and today, people find it much comfortable and easier to travel on that road. I especially mention this because my brother, my brother has not come that side for quite some time. I have also received so much of love and warmness from all my brothers and sisters, inclu including their family members. My brother Justice Manas Pathak and has his family's hospitality, my brother Justice Ashintia Mala Buzor Barua and his family's hospitality. My brother Justice Kalyan Rai Surana and his family's hospitality. To name a few, I will treasure them all my life. Not the least, I will miss my time with my other brothers, especially the lighter moments I share with them. The warm, special smile of my brother Bothaku the broad smile on my brother Sanjay Kumar Mehdi's face, the gentle but sweet smiles on the face of my brother Justice Manish Saudhuri, Justice Somitra Saikya, Justice Devasis Barwa, and Justice Arundev Saudhuri. And of course, the quiet whispering voices of my brothers Justice Robin Pukan and Justice P. Saikya, and not the least, 
the kindness of my sister justice my sisters justice malasari nandi justice sumitra fukant kont and justice mitali thakuria at the other benches of this high court there is that itanagar and mizoram also the love and hospitality i received from my brothers and sister brother justice michael brother justice nelson brother justice tagya and sister justice malli are nothing less in short i have not only enjoyed working together with all of you but all your love and warmness i don't think i can ever repay you i am also thankful to all the members of the bars both at the principal bench and all the three benches of this high court for all the kindness you have shown to me and all the priceless assistance you have rendered this comes from my heart i will cherish the time that we spend together both in the courtrooms and outside i guess all the judges feel the same way i feel but secretly in my heart i have always felt that the registry officers and staffs of all the benches have some special love for me you have always been helpful and available whenever i require you have made my life of the last 6 and 1/2 years not only comfortable but memorable may god bless all of you and your family members well just before our honorable the chief justice arrived at guwahati a friend of mine from rajasthan high court sent me a message a message stating that brother you are getting one of the finest judges of rajasthan high court as your chief justice sir i have the opportunity to to meet you and interact with you only for a short time but what i have observed during the during such time and what i has followed during the last one week has proved the words of my friend true the guwahati high court indeed is fortunate to have you as its chief justice but my only regret is my privilege to work with you cannot be extended any longer i wish you and all my brothers and sisters all sisters all the best as you continue to shoulder this heavy and onerous responsibility of upholding the sovereignty and integrity of india its constitution and the laws may i also thank everyone who are present both physically and virtually for having spared the time to bless me in this last moment of my journey as a judicial member may god bless all of you jai hind the farewell address is now over <clears throat> Wonderful speech. Yes. 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 Yes.